Hi, and welcome to another episode of It's a vs. Mustafa Sports Talk. If you want to listen to any of our previous episodes, uh, follow us on Hussein Bros 23 at Instagram and go on the YouTube channel Hussein Bros to listen to our previous episodes and this episode that we'll be uploading shortly. Today we're going to be discussing NBA rules and NBA officiating and honestly I'm just so sick and tired of it. I, I don't know what's going on with the NBA. I don't know what they're doing, especially with the referees. They're just handing out technicals like it's candy on Halloween. You know, it's too much. It's too much offense as well. You know, I, I, have, I don't see any good defense being played anymore. The games are too high scoring. The calls are too soft. The, it's just too much. I do somewhat agree with you that the calls are too soft now, that the players get too much of an advantage, the offensive players. But you cannot blame the referees. You cannot blame them because... If you watch an NBA game, which you do, they complain throughout the whole game. Not just on timeouts, they complain throughout the whole game. Like, the best player in the world right now, LeBron James, he complains more than he plays sometimes. He complains half the game. So what does the official, the official can't keep taking it, and they can't make all the calls perfect. They don't have the um, luxury of having an instant replay like we do when we watch at home. They have to make it in live action when it's so fast, when these players also flop. It's not like the players are 100% honest. They flop and try to draw the foul calls too. So it's it's almost impossible to make every correct call. And look at Nick Nurse. He complains more he complains sometimes more than he coaches. He's a great coach. He's a great coach, but let's just be honest. He complains like 90% of the game he's complaining and sitting on his knees or crouching. I don't know what that's about, but whatever pants he's using are are very are made very well. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I agree with the pants, man. Those are some top-notch pants. They have some stretch in those, some give in those. But, but going back to the topic, I agree. These 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 players complain a lot. The referees do have to put up with a lot. But these technicals, some of these technicals that they're handing out. I don't know if you remember the technical that they handed out to Draymond Green for yelling at his own teammate. Yeah, but you can't no. You can't yell at your own teammate. That's constructive criticism. But, you need that. But the official thought he... Because Draymond always yelling at the officials. The official thought he was yelling at him. That doesn't matter. Even if he's yelling at the official. that Yelling at an official, yelling at a teammate, or yelling at an opponent, especially if you're not is saying anything that's really bad. You know, you're not using like extreme profanity. You're not, you know, going overboard. You know, it's not a problem. It's a game. It's a game where your adrenaline is high. It's a game where you're already worked up, where you're already stressed out. It's a game where it requires all your energy, everything you got every single night. You know, these things are going to happen. Players are going to get angry. Players are going to yell at each other. Players are going to swear. Players are going to disagree with calls. You cannot hand out technicals like that. Do you remember the other technical that was handed out? I, I believe it was... Uh, the other technical, I believe, was J.J. Redick. He rolled the ball to the referee. And he got a technical for it. Like, are you kidding me? You're not, not passing the ball to the referee is a technical? And, and, and let's say the referee does uh, uh, make a mistake. Like Draymond Green, he thought was yelling at him. He maybe thought that J.J. Redick threw the ball at him disrespectfully. Then once you call the technical, you should have the ability to take the technical back. Because one technical in a crucial game can change the entire game's outcome. Imagine if those type of calls happen in the finals. You give a technical to a player like that in the finals, give a free throw to the other team, that causes the other team to win. Or you give two technicals and causes that player to be ejected from the game. An important player like Draymond Green to his team. And you cause that player to get ejected from a technical that shouldn't have been a technical. Either you should be able to reverse the call or you shouldn't make those calls. But, but reputation matters. Psychologically, it's impossible for the referee to forget like what type of player Draymond Green is. He's known for always complaining and yelling. Like he's known, so he's not gonna. He's gonna assume, or she's gonna assume automatically, that he's speaking to him or her, and not speaking to his teammate because he often complains. So it's, for the referee, it's almost impossible to like to assume what he's gonna say. Yeah, but you can't make an assumption. You can't make an assumption, and you don't teach me about psychology. You can't make an assumption 
and just give a technical. You have to see each each case is different, each scenario is different. You can't just be like, oh, this person yells all the time, this person complains all the time, so now, therefore, I'm going to give him a technical. Oh, oh, yes, you can, because already NBA is a very, very slow. Like, it's a fast-paced game, but the game is so slow, especially towards the end. You can't have the official go to the instant replay every time. It's already the last two minutes feel like it takes 30 minutes. So they can't always go back to instant replay and see what the player said or what, what happened. Yeah, I agree with you. It's already a slow-paced game. But first of all, calling these calls makes the game slower. And it's way more important to get the call right. Like I said, especially in a crucial game, it's very important to get the call right rather than to speed up the game. The whole point is to officiate the game correctly. I understand their job is hard and I understand they don't have instant replay like we do at home. But you have to make the right call or you let a couple of things go. You don't have to make every single call. But what about when the players flop? You've seen the best players flop. So what about them? What are the referees going to do about that? First, the players got to be honest before the referee. It makes the referee's um, decision making easier. If the players are flopping, it just makes the referee's job harder. Well, I definitely agree with the flops. That that needs to stop. And there needs to be uh, something done about that. More fines given out. More suspensions given out because of that. But... But I think the flopping, more than the flopping, the problem is the soft calls that are being called. Calls like that in the past wouldn't have been called. So people wouldn't, the players wouldn't be able to flop like that and get those calls. But now you can't hand check. You can't even touch the person. It's like you can't even breathe on the uh, offensive opponent as a defensive player trying to defend the best offensive players that are way more skilled than uh, they ever were. That can shoot from such distances. Now you can't even go up and uh, breathe on them. Those type of calls, that soft type of uh, calls that are being called, that soft type of officiating that's being done is the reason why players like these can now flop so much and get those calls. It's not the referees or the officiating problem. It's, it's the rules that are put in place. They have to follow the rules. They don't make their own rules. Whatever the NBA puts in place, they have to go by it. I do agree that it's way too soft of a game now. Like... You can't even come close to a person. A person that can shoot threes and get to the rim, it's impossible to defend them because, like, for example, Steph Curry, if he takes a three, you can't get close to him. You can't get underneath his feet. And then it, he has such great dribbling that he can just get by you. And then you, if you if you don't jump up straight, it's going to be a foul on the defender. So it's almost impossible to play defense, especially with how strong and skilled these players are nowadays. That... That's why you see games at 130, 140, when in the 80s and 90s, the games used to be 80 or 90 points. There needs to be better uh, rules made in the NBA to go back to the more like the old style of basketball. Well, I couldn't agree with you more there. I mean, you know, I like to see high scoring games from time to time, but I don't like to see every game like 120 plus. Now, obviously, that's not what's happening, but the games are way too high scoring. I like to see some games where they don't even hit 100 points. I like to watch some defense. I like to see some big defensive plays being made where you shut down some players and win the game because of your defense, not just because of your offense. And we got to stop really blaming the officials for everything. Okay, we got to blame, if you're going to blame someone, blame the rules that are put in place or sometimes blame the players. They get 40, 50 million, criticize them. Well, the referees getting paid, nothing compared to them. You can't always be yelling and screaming and abusing the referees. It makes no sense. You have to t- the fish the players have to take some responsibility to first at least not flop. Let's get some respect into this game. Don't flop. Play the game the right way before you just argue and complain against the officials when you're making ten times the amount they are. You should have no right to complain. Play the game, play it the right way, and let the officials which or some players should try officiating, maybe. Try officiating for a season and see how difficult it is and see if a player yells at you for the whole game. See if you can take it. See if you can make the same calls the officials are making. It's not that easy. So let's let's give the referees the respect they deserve. I mean, I, I, I agree and disagree. Like I said, the officials have too much power. They keep giving them technicals for no reason. They call in these soft calls. Either change the rules don't call these soft calls and don't just give 
technicals. You don't have to hand out technicals all the time. You can argue with the player back and forth. You can argue with the coach without handing out a technical. You don't, it's, it's not necessary that every time you get in an argument that you have to hand out a technical. Because then you hand out technicals for a place that shouldn't be, uh, to players that shouldn't have gotten the technical for the plays that they've done. I mean, uh, how about the players not complaining every time? How about that? Don't you ever think about that? How about the players don't complain the whole game and just play the game like how we used to play on on the street? Just play with no, like pretend like there's no officials. Just play the game and don't start complaining and arguing with the referee the whole game. Focus on running back on defense. A lot of times they they miss a layup or a shot and they don't even run back because they're arguing with the referee. If I was the coach, I would kick that player out the game. Run back. If the official never made the call or missed the call, then at least run back and help your team on defense. Yeah, I mean, you know, the player is uh, running back down the court, complaining to the referee the whole way and not playing defense, leaving their uh, uh, the, the, the offensive player open for an open shot, for an open uh, break, for an odd man break. So, I mean, yeah. They need to stop doing that. They need to stop complaining so much. I can agree with that. But I still do think the officials have too much power and they call unnecessary technicals and it's really slowing down the game and is really uh, stopping them from calling some correct calls that could that could change the game. They're making incorrect calls that, that could change the entire game. But, you know, I feel like the rules need to change. NBA needs to stop being so soft and... Just, you know, I like to see some offense, but I would also like to see some better defense. Uh, let us know what you think. That's it for our topic here today. That's it for our discussion today. Like always, this has been Sports Talk from two Canucks up north, eh? Please stay safe, take care, and we'll see you again soon.